Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So, you know, what I wanted to talk about now for Milturn has to do with uh, wrapping groups. This is uh, where the tool is going to stay pointed to center line. Uh, so you can do this with uh, with uh, C, C axis. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And let me trim up some of this geometry here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so we'll do uh, surface, revolved, pick axis, 360. So we're going to go from here to there. And then we're going to go around there. All right, so there's basically the the part geometry that we're working on. So what I want to do I mean get rid of the rest of this stuff and let me let me blank this stuff out of here as well. Let me blank my stock. I'm gonna uh, cap off the face and I'm gonna cap off the back side of it as well. Uh, why didn't it like that? Okay, there we go. All right, so we got this shape like that. Now, what I want to do is uh, let's make this a solid. So we'll do solid add. Uh, no, we'll stitch it all together. So we'll do stitching, stitch surface to solid. So now we have everything, uh, everything all wrapped up. And then what I'm going to do is create. Uh, we'll do something like this. Let's make this a uh, quarter inch. And go like. Go like that. All right, that looks good. Let's uh, translate this up in Z. So we'll s select that shape. Bring that up in Z a little bit, which looks okay. All right, then we're going to extrude this. And that looks good right there. All right, so now... Let's see what I want to do here. Um, let me change this a little bit. Because I want this to be on center line. So let me translate. Okay, that looks better. Now let's extrude this. All right, let's revolve it. Or uh, rotate it. So we're going to rotate this around. Uh, this is going to be around here. Do 120. Make uh, two copies. Okay, so now from here we're going to cut these away, so we're going to do solid, uh, subtract, keep this shape, subtract that, keep this shape, subtract that, keep this shape, subtract that. that. Alright, so now we have these, like, uh, these pocketing, um, pocketing routines in here. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, additional functions, we're going to add a wrapping group. The wrapping group, we're going to use wrap geometry, and we're going to use the stock diameter. Okay, from here, we're going to do two axis, select geometry. We're going to pick this pocket here. Um, pick bottom. All right, pocket routine. Okay, now tool. So we can't use this tool here because it's a face mount. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to the next station, add adapter, side adapter. We need a Z tool. So that will get, uh, nope, hold on a second. Change adapter. We need a cross mill adapter. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, from there, we're going to add a tool. This is going to be, you know, we'll do a, we'll do a three eighths end mill okay we want to make sure that it's pointing out which it is so that looks good 
All right, for our finish tool, we're going to use the same tool. So we'll go to this uh, tool here and we'll grab it. And then we'll go ahead and compute. And now you're going to see it's wrapped. Now here's the thing, even though this is a, this is a flat bottom pocket, but we don't have, uh, we're, we're not using Y axis right now. So by using the wrapping group, what it's going to do is it's going to bend it to that diameter because it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have any Y axis. It's pointing to center line. Okay. So let me add two steps here and I'll recompute. So we have that one there. We can go ahead and select uh, the other pockets too if we want. So we can grab them as well and go ahead and compute that. So now we have those pockets happening. Let's go ahead and run this through the simulation. So again, this is wrapping group. Uh, we're using our C axis here. And uh, so let's see, we have our groove cycle, we have our drilling cycle, we do our face pocketing, and now what's going to happen is we're going to get into our our C-axis uh, wrapping group. So you can see that this is wrapping to that diameter, and the tool is pointing to center line. So this is the type of tool path you can use when you don't have a Y-axis. Okay, now one of the things that we'll notice here is uh, the tool path is being driven... Uh, yeah, there's the finish pass, but it being driven to the center of that boundary. But again, this is a C-axis wrapping group, and uh, like I said, it's really easy to set up. Um, allows us to quickly wrap our tool path uh, to the diameter that we specify. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, just reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.